What is up, everybody? I am back, and today I want to share a purchase that I made to go with virtual reality. Everybody's looking to take virtual reality to another level. You have headphones with 3D audio. You have batteries that keep you playing for, for hours. You have different straps. You have straps for your hands. Anything that's going to take you to another level. Well, there has been a product that has been released for a, a while now, years. Um, and I had my eye on it, but it was just a little too much money at $500. Well, two weeks ago, it showed up on Woot.com for $199. And I'm like... For $199, I'm going to take a chance on this. And what is it? What do I want to show you today? Well, it is the Woger Audio Vest. So what this is, this is, this is taking virtual reality to a, a degenerate level. So what this is, it's a vest that you put on and then the audio inputs hook up to either music or virtual reality headset and then the sound is transformed into this vest and then it turns into vibrations. So if you're playing, uh, you know, uh, Beat Saber and Pistol Whipped, and all that stuff, the sound gets converted and now you can hear it. So I was like, this is something I'm interested in. Yeah, I'm gonna look like a complete buffoon wearing this vest in my house, but you know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. So what I wanted to do was unbox this and then try to show you, it's gonna be hard to, but I'll convey it, uh, what this is like with music, PlayStation, VR2 and Oculus Quest 3 because all you have to do is just hook up the audio source from the headset. So it works with any virtual reality headset. You can also put a phone in here as well. So hopefully going to try that out. And then we'll see that I waste $199 trying to take VR to another level. Let's go unbox this and get the testing. Okay, here we go, everybody. <sighs> Got the vest here. It's actually pretty heavy when you pick this up. It's a couple pounds. Um, and before we unbox it, let's take a look at what it says here. This is the Wozier, and this is the Vest Edge. Now, this vest came out in 2020. They have a brand new release called the I believe the Wozier Vest 3. So this is not current technology for 199, hence why it was on Woot, you know, for that price. Um, but it's perfectly fine. It's brand new for 199. I felt like it was worth the price because they are still selling this for $500 on their website, I believe. So the box feels real premium. It's matte gloss. You can see it here. It just looks really nice. And on the back, they kind of go over a little bit of what this thing can do for you. Let's see if I can show you here. So on the top left, it's basically, uh, it says low latency Bluetooth, headphone amplifier, 200 hertz frequency, six transducers. Those are the main components that makes you feel the sound and hopefully we can see those transducers when I open up the box on the vest. If there are six, I'm assuming there's going to be two in the back, two in the front, and then maybe one in the middle. We'll have to see. Then it says here in the top right, fast charge, analog inputs, dual haptic headphone level controls, lightweight and premium breathable fabrics. All right, so now let's flip it back over and see how it opens. I have not opened this. I just kind of cut the seals so we can do it together as a group so you can see the stupid things I spend my money on. And also remember, this is my money, 
No opinions, no shilling. If it's good, I'll tell you. If it's bad, I will tell you too. Okay, so here we go. Box to a box, everybody. So let's pick this up. And here we go. We have the vest, which is feels real premium. Born to feel, fast charger inside. And this says, hello player, adapters inside. So let's, oh, wow, it's a little heavy. Little heavy. So <laughs> here it is, guys. I will be wearing this <laughs> when I play VR. Woo. So let's see. There we go. So like I thought, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six in here. So so there's your transducers. And so you put this on almost like a vest or a backpack and then adjust it and the vibrations are going to make you feel like you're being shot, chased, all that awesome stuff. So let's put this over here. Now let's see what we got here. It says start here. Let's see what let's see what's in here. We have we have the adapters and some cords here. Because there are multiple ways to hook this up to music sources. And here's the fast charger. Let's get that out of the way. Because this vest will need to run somehow. And we're going to charge it up. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to charge this up. And hopefully the next time you'll see me, I will be wearing this vest looking so good in style in virtual reality <laughs> with my Wozier Vest Edge <laughs> taking VR degeneracy to a whole new level. So let me start charging this. Let me get strapped in and we will put it through its paces. See everybody soon. Okay. Before I give my opinions and thoughts, I wanted to show you how this thing looks when I'm strapped up. So, once again, here is the vest. Here is the back. This thing has some weight to it. This thing is a couple pounds. I looked it up, and some people say it's four pounds. I wouldn't say it's four pounds. I would say it's at least two and a half, maybe two pounds. But I wanted to show you again, here's the transducers. There's six of them, and here's four, and then there's two on the strap. So, let's show you how this works. So they want you to strap in like this. And then there's a couple of straps they want you to put on first. So you have a waist strap that you put on. Then you have a mid chest strap, which is here. And you put that on. And then you have these two. Now these two you pull down and it pulls everything tight. You want everything as tight as possible because when this thing is going off, you need to feel it against your body. So you feel the, the transducers against you. So you can take this off and kind of pre-size it and then put it on and pull these guys and you should be good to go. It took me five minutes to figure out how to strap this thing in. Any extra cord could be tied up with their latches that they give you here. So you can hide all the extra cords that dangle and just get a nice tight fit. So here's the back. There's the Woj. And it is pretty cumbersome if you're not used to wearing something like this. And the more that I've been wearing it over the last week, the more I'm getting used to it. Especially when you put a VR helmet on, 
you certainly don't feel stupid because you're not seeing it, you're not looking at it. And when you start to play, that's when this cumbersomeness melts away. And you just start playing and getting into the games and it becomes second nature. So I just wanted to show this aspect of it before we go to the next step. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm wearing a VR headset next. And then uh, we'll talk about the experiences I've had. It's very hard to convey the experiences through the headset and through the transducers because it's hard to convey that through the video. But I hope that showing this, showing everything, and the next step, I'll discuss my experiences. And then you can kind of get an idea on what this product does for you if you want to buy it. So I'm going to put on my VR headset next, sitting right there in the corner, and you can see how it hooks up. Just to show you real quick, you have to hook up a couple cables here, and I'll show that next. All right, everybody, here is the final form. This is what you're hoping to achieve when you buy this Wozier Vest Edge. I'm using the PlayStation VR 2. This is the same exact setup that you would use for the Quest, with the exception of you are not tethered by this wire. So, all you have to do to hook this up is that there's two audio jack cables. One cable goes from the headset to the input on your vest, and the other goes from your headphones to the vest headphone jack that's labeled with a headphone picture. And that's it. And so then you turn on your PlayStation VR 2 and you control the haptics from right here. You have four buttons to control the haptics. You have a volume up and a volume down. And then here, this is how you control the haptics. So you can use a variety of kind of configurations. Do you want to go low haptics, but high volume? Or do you want this thing kicking your ass when you're playing and keep the volume down? It's up to you. So there's a lot of ways that you can turn this uh, haptic vest into the best way that you want to play it. I like volume up and haptics as <laughs> way up as you can get. If I'm going to look silly wearing this, I want to go all out. Give me the much uh, as much bass. Give me all the volume that you can handle. I'm ready. So this is what it looks like. The headphones feel good. You can use any headphones you want, even if it's earbuds, because it's just a regular three and a half millimeter auxiliary jack. And that's it. So this is what it looks like. You are officially in once you have this. This is as much degenerate VR gaming that you can get with this vest. I love it. I will now kind of go back upstairs, give you my final thoughts, give you my experiences when I was using this. And then you can make your mind up if this, this is something you want to go and explore in the future, if you can get one on sale. So I hope you appreciate this. I will now go up, give my final thoughts, and we'll close this one out. Talk to everyone in one second. Okay, I am back. Let's give some final thoughts and get you out the door. So, the question that's on everybody's mind, the question that everyone's asking, whether or not you looked at my video or other people's videos, is this a gimmick? Is this a scam? Is this worth the money that you paid for this? And I'm just going to say, it is not a scam. And actually, it's not a gimmick. This thing works. This thing takes immersion to another level. This thing puts you into the game, into the game, more than I thought. I thought for my $200, I was going to get something that kind of was like, boom, boom. Yay, I feel a gunshot. 
yay, I feel the beat of the music. But no, when I put this thing on and I dialed it in, I was like, boom, boom, boom. It was insane, insane. So let's go through the experiences real quick because there's separate experiences. The first thing I did was I put on music and I just put on, I just took my phone and I connected it and then I connected my headphones and I put some music on and that wasn't uh, a, a great experience. Um, it does get loud, so you do get that, but the bass and, and the, and the, you know, the energy of the vest being pushed back to you with the transducers, that's all dependent upon the music that you, you know, kind of pick. So depending on what music you're picking, you might not hear, you know, the most insane uh, bass loops, especially if you're in the like classic rock, but you do hear something, but it's just not enough to warrant a purchase. It's not until you start using this for virtual reality does the product become a much more reasonable proposition for its price point. So let's talk about the experience I had using it with VR exclusively. I hooked up the vest, as you've seen in the last video, it in the last clip, it took seconds to kind of put on the headphones, put on the virtual reality and plug it in and put the vest on. So as far as the startup goes and ease of getting into the product, that's not a problem. Very easily, uh, you know, put together. So there's no added burden of getting in the VR than there already was before you had the vest. So that's easy. Then um, I started using it with Beat Saber, Pistol Whip, and Synth Riders. And man, those experiences were absolutely incredible. When you're playing a music rhythm game and you're doing your Beat Saber and your Synth Riders and your Pistol Whip, wow. It's literally like you're inside of the music. And it was so amazing to have this going on while playing these music games. So for those experiences, oh, amazing. If you're a Beat Saber aficionado or you like Pistol Whip and Synth Riders and all the other type of games that are out there of that genre, you're not going to have a bad time with this vest. I then put on some other experiences like Resident Evil and some other games. I did uh, Synapse, which isn't you know a music game, and they were just as good. The base of the gunshots and the grenades, it like it's insane. It and then I, I've used that word a lot in the last uh, few minutes, but I'm telling you, it was a, a, a mind blowing. Uh, experience combined with virtual reality which is already taking you to another level so in the end is this vest worth 4.99 i don't think it is because virtual reality is 4.99 how can you justify an add-on at the same price that the main attachment virtual reality is you really can't but i paid 1.99 and that's the price I'm going to judge this by because that's what I paid. And for the $1.99 that I paid, I'm in. Hands down, amazing. I took a chance on it. It was on Woot.com, like I said earlier. And I, would, I wasn't expecting much. I did my research. I looked at the videos. Everybody pretty much said the same thing I did. Price is high, but there is something there and it's not a scam. But until I got it and put it through its paces, now I can say it. If you're looking for... Another step into virtual reality, and you can get this for $199 or lower. Let's go get it. You will not be disappointed. If you can get this for $300, you're approaching that point where I don't know if it's worth it. But for $200, $250, if you're curious about it, that's a good price point. Keep an eye on Woot.com. Maybe it'll come back. It sold out fairly quickly. I jumped on it on a Saturday. It was delivered like on a Sunday. It was it was insane how quickly Woot got this out to me. So shout out to Woot. Um, and that's all I have to really talk about. I hope you enjoyed this. Not many people are doing these types of videos with the Wozier vests. But since I got it on sale, I figured I'd just do one an unboxing and show you my experiences. 
If you have any questions, put them down below. As always, I appreciate every one of my subscribers that watch, that comment, and like. It means the world to me. It keeps me going. It keeps me making content. So thank you to that. And happy holidays, everybody. I'll talk to everyone soon.